Rain is something humans were worrying about in biblical times, and likely long before. But the long dry spell in the West has refocused many Americans' attention on the water and on what happens when there's just not enough. A new literature of drought may be emerging with room for stories that recall the past, but also for the possibility of trouble on a scale we've never seen before. Rain is considered by humans a biblical term, only something from that time and even long before. However, when we don't have enough water or rain, this causes a drought and a controversy as well. Because of this view on rain, many are starting to believe that droughts are a sign, a warning that our relationship with water and the earth needs to change. There needs to be more of an awareness of how we handle our water. Thousands of activists came to New York City for the largest march ever on global warming. It was big, big. Meanwhile, climate change deniers said there's no proof the march really happened because they couldn't see it from their window. Yeah. Ongoing droughts, continuing in dry states like California, for example, are making people extremely nervous. This is due to the unpredictable climate changes and how people handle our water. After declaring a state of emergency, Governor Jerry Brown met with water leaders and asked all Californians to reduce their water use by 20%. This drought is a big wake-up call. In communities and in farm fields all across California, they're waiting for rain. You pray, not a whole lot you can do. But like the current situation, the forecast here looks bleak. Many locations in America can just as quickly become a desert. As our world experiences more drastic changes in climate, the way we understand droughts and water will bring us to a better understanding for our climate and Earth. The reason for all of this is because climate cycles are not always certain and more than likely unpredictable. The fact is that no single weather episode can either prove or disprove global climate change. Climate is the pattern of weather that we observe geographically and over the seasons and it's described in terms of averages, variations, and probabilities. That we can expect as a result of global warming to see more of this pattern of extreme cold in the mid-latitudes and some extreme warm in the far north. 